People often want to know, what's the difference between a bear market and a bull market? Let's start off by learning what a bull market is. A bull market is when the stock market is on the rise for an extended period of time. A bull market usually occurs when the economy is doing well and investors are confident about the future. A bear market is the opposite of a bull market. It generally occurs when the economy is slowing down and investor confidence is low. A bear market happens when the stock market, measured by an index like the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones Industrial Average, has fallen 20% or more from a recent high, sustained over a period of time. In a bear market, investors not knowing when stock prices will hit their bottom and begin rising again may sell off their stocks and save their cash until the market starts doing better. Other investors hold on to their investments, waiting for their stocks to regain or even gain more value sometime in the future. With the stock market, there are no guarantees, so always invest at your own risk. How long do bear and bull markets last? The average length of a bear market is about 10 months. The average length of a bull market is nearly three years, so that's good news for investors. But those are averages. Some bear and bull markets are longer or shorter. So where did the bull and bear market get their names? Historians are not exactly sure of the origins of these expressions, but some believe that they came from the way that each of these animals attack. A bull thrust his horns upward when in battle. Therefore, a bull market represents a rising, positive market. A bear swipes his claws downward when in battle, symbolizing a falling or negative market. Investors can be described as bullish or bearish. A bearish or bear investor is pessimistic and believes that stock prices will go down. He or she may take short positions in the markets to profit off of these declining prices. A bullish or bull investor is optimistic about the market and believes that prices will rise. They see gains in their future. So currently, which type of investor are you? And what's your stock market strategy in these current times? please tell us in the comments section below this video. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.